What is up, beautiful people? This is the day in the life of a vending machine business owner. I'm not really gonna like collect today. This is gonna be like the day to day operations. Like, I have a bunch of stuff to do. I have to sell a vending machine. I have to put prices on vending machines. I have to up some prices. So it's currently like 7 in the morning, like 7 30, 7 40, whatever. And we need to get breakfast. As a scam vending machine is still at my house. Like I said in a recent video, I was gonna like sell it for scraps, but I've been procrastinating on doing this. But this is what I came for, for this. It's 12.49. I'm gonna see if I can find like a price match to make this cheaper. Yo, price match is really a cheat code. Like, I was supposed to buy this for like $13, and then like, I found it cheaper at Walmart for like $9. Next stop, we go to Dollar Tree. We need to go pick up some batteries. We are at location number one. Let's go. I'm wrong, man. Just finished location number one. This thing came in handy. Every time I go to this location, there's some people who come always come up to me and be like, oh, Donald, I lost four dollars. Donald, I lost five dollars. Stop the cap. This is location number two. We have to put prices, and we're selling that vending machine right there. Al Kazoo, I'm making it boom. What did he say? Hey. Oh. So guys, um, I bought these pop tarts at BJ's and come to find out they have no like, like label on what it is. Like the other ones I bought from Sam's Club, they at least have labels and you could see like what they are. So for these ones, we're gonna take them out because they're not really selling and we're gonna put them in my other location. And they'll just buy these up like it's nothing. So people ask me all the time how much they should price their snacks. So a quick tip that I, I could give you is you want a 100% mark upon your snack. So if you buy something for 50 cents, you want to at least sell it for a dollar. So if you sell it for a dollar 50, that's a 200% gain. Keep that in the back of your mind. So I have a problem, right? I bought these thinking that like this location likes these type of candies. They really don't like it. And I have two boxes. Usually in these cases when I, I can't sell them and I don't want them to expire, I just reduce the price. It was at a dollar fifty, a dollar twenty-five, and I'm just gonna make it for a dollar because I need to get rid of these as fast as possible. So if you guys have a product and you realize it's not selling, give deals on it. The same way stores do. Give two for one, whatever, whatever you gotta do to get rid of the products.
So this is me going up to the guy. He bought a Penske truck to go pick up this vending machine. This is just me just going to him and just telling him directions on how to get to the church. Give you guys a little background on what happened i'm showing this guy the vending machine i'm showing trying to show him that every single thing works but the bill validator is not working for those that don't know what the bill validator is the bill validator is where you put the dollar bills the five dollar bills whatever dollar bills that you have to put whatever money that you have to put in the vending machine that wasn't working and because the bill validator wasn't working i had to reduce my price by 150. so the initial price was 500 i sold it to him for 350 dollars even though i don't look mad in this video i was highly upset Yeah, I think. 